Hello everybody, John Brewer here. Today on Survival Exploration 201, I wanted to talk a little bit about how Space Engineers works under the hood. About a week ago, Keen Software House's lead developer posted about upcoming planets, scenarios, and a new multiplayer engine. Although the current multiplayer engine is going away in a few weeks or months, I thought it would be interesting to review how the current engine works, and why it creates some of the bizarre behavior it does. We're going to look at two major factors that influence the synchronization issues we're all familiar with in Space Engineers. This episode, we're going to talk about simulation speed. In the next Survival Exploration 201 episode, we're going to talk about how the networking code behind Space Engineers works, and how the proposed engine changes might affect it. Simulation speed is, simply put, how close to real time your game is running. We've talked before about how Space Engineers updates the world 60 times a second. That's under ideal circumstances. When the computer Space Engineers is running on is under great load, either from Space Engineers itself or from other applications on the computer, it sometimes takes more than 1 60th of a second to run the physics engine, use the network, run game logic, and process input. This is especially true when there are large numbers of ships or debris floating around. In single player mode, the game simply slows down. In multiplayer mode, though, the difference is quite pronounced. Regardless of how long it takes to process, each step only advances the world by 1 60th of a second. As a result, multiple clients can be running at different speeds in the same world. The most obvious manifestation of a reduced simulation speed in multiplayer is moving slower. If your speed is 60 meters per second, but your simulation speed is only 0.75, you still get moved 1 meter every update, but you only get 45 updates per second. The practical upshot is that compared to a player whose simulation speed is 1.0, your character is only moving 45 meters per second, despite the game indicating your speed is 60 meters per second. This effect is most noticeable when attempting to chase a runaway ship that's moving at high speed. A player with low simulation speed can have real difficulty running down a ship that's moving at near maximum. As long as at least one player is running at high simulation speed, all the unmanned ships in the game will move near that speed. As a result, Playing on a machine that's having problems running Space Engineers at full speed not only handicaps a player's ability to react, but has a much more direct impact on their mechanics. Come back for the next Survival Exploration 201 episodes, where we'll talk about how the netcode for Space Engineers works, and how it kills you when you try to capture a cargo ship. Until then, I'm John Brewer, bringing you better gaming through applied mathematics.